which had a cat and a hat that was black and long ginger hair in a braid down her back and how the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind but how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly it blew off her hat down cried the witch and they flew to the ground and they searched for the hat but no hat could be found and then out of the bushes on thundering paws there bounded a dog with the hat in his jaws he dropped it politely and then eagerly said as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head i am a dog as keen as can be is there room on the broom for a dog like me yes cried the witch and the dog clambered on and the witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh they were gone over the fields and the forests they flew and the dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew and the witch laughed out loud hee and held on to her hat but away blew the bow from her braid just like that down cried the witch and they flew to the ground and they searched for the bow but no bow could be found and then out from a tree with an ear-splitting shriek there flapped a green bird with the bow in her beak and she dropped it politely and bent her head low and then she said as the witch tied her braid in the bow i am a bird as green as can be is there room on the broom for a bird like me yes cried the witch so the bird fluttered on and the witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh they were gone over the reeds and the rivers they flew and the bird shrieked with glee then the stormy wind blew and they shot through the sky to the back of beyond and the witch clutched her bow but let go of her wand down cried the witch and they flew to the ground and they searched for the wand but no wand could be found and then all of a sudden from out of a pond leaped a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand he dropped it politely and then said with a croak as the witch dried the wand on the fold of her cloak i am a frog as clean as can be is there room on the broom for a frog like me yes cried the witch so the frog bounded on and the witch tapped her broomstick and whoosh they were gone over the moors and the mountains they flew and the dog and the frog jumped for joy and the broom snapped in two down fell the cat and the dog and the frog and down they went tumbling into the bog and the witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud i am a dragon as mean as can be and witch with french fries taste delicious to me no cried the witch flying higher and higher and the dragon flew after her breathing out fire help cried the witch flying down to the ground and the dragon flew after her and no help could be found and the dragon drew near with a glint in his eyes and he said just this once i'll have witch without fries but just as he planned to begin on his feast from out of the ditch rose a horrible beast it was tall dark and sticky and feathered and furred and it had four frightful heads it had wings like a bird and its terrible voice when it started to speak was a yowl 
and a growl and a croak and a shriek and it dripped and it squelched and it strode from the ditch and it said to the dragon buzz off that's my witch the dragon drew back and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he spluttered. I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now uh, I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. And then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog and down climbed the cat. And phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh, thank you. The grateful witch cried. Without you all, I'd be in the dragon's inside. Then she filled up the cauldron and said with a grin, Find something, everyone, throw something in. So the frog found a lily, and the cat found a cone, and the bird found a twig, and the dog found a bone. And they threw them all in, and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom! Then out rose a truly magnificent broom. And it had seats for the witch, and the cat and the dog, and a nest for the bird, and a pool for the frog. Yes, cried the witch, and they all clambered on. And the witch tapped the broomstick. And whoosh! They were gone.